In PC building, we talk more about some components than we do others. CPUs, GPUs, and SSDs all get their time in the sun, but there are other unsung components that are just as important, like your motherboard. So today I'm going to be giving the humble mobo its due as I break down the incredible ASRock X870 Nova Wi-Fi. In the anatomy analogy that we like to make about PCs, your CPU is the brain, your storage is the long-term memory, your RAM is the short-term memory, but what would that make your motherboard? It's more than just a place to plug in your parts, it connects and even powers much of your PC, which would make it the nervous system. And while that may not sound super sexy, I dare you to study nervous disorders on WebMD for an hour and then tell me if you think your motherboard doesn't matter. The ASRock X870 Nova Wi-Fi is a top tier gaming motherboard. It features an 18 plus two plus one VRM power phase distribution, which basically means it can provide plenty of stable power for your high-end CPU and even lets you get away with a little bit of CPU overclocking if you're so inclined. It offers a whopping five M.2 sockets for terrific upgrade potential, including dual Gen 5 by 4 M.2, so you can enjoy even more blazing fast storage to kill boot and load times. But more importantly, it does this by sharing PCIe lanes with the USB 4 ports, not your graphics card PCIe by 16 slot. So your GPU performance remains unimpeded. All this, plus it supports DDR5 up to 8400 overclocked. The ASRock X870 Nova Wi-Fi provides excellent heat protection with extra, extra large heat sinks for the VRM and M.2 sockets, as well as a metal backplate for even greater heat dissipation. And with 5G LAN and Wi-Fi 7 networking, you can enjoy super fast Wi-Fi and file transfer speeds to local servers, NAS, or cloud storage. The X870 Nova Wi-Fi also has some pretty cool bonus features like RGB, easy install graphics card and M.2. You've got these micro buttons for power and reset, as well as a postcode display, which I always appreciate. The Nova also supports PD 3.0 36 watt charging for gaming handheld smartphones, etc., etc., which by the way, happens to be more than any smartphone on the market currently needs. Here's a list of all the specs in case you're interested. Just pause the video to take a closer look. Okay, now that we have all that out of the way, let's put this MOBO through its paces. We'll be using an AMD Ryzen 9 9950X3D with 32 gigs of Corsair Vengeance DDR5 RAM, a WD Black Gen 5 SSD, and an ASRock 9070 XT Challenger graphics card, all connected to Benjamin Button's The Newegg Test Bench. For power delivery and sustained load, we'll be using Cinebench 2024 paired with HW Info to measure the sustained all core frequency, CPU package power, PPT, TDC, EDC, and VRM temperature. We're looking for higher clocks and lower VRM temps over time. For memory subsystem performance, we'll be using ADA to measure exactly how trace layout, BIOS tuning, and signal integrity affect RAM performance. And Geekbench 6 for a fast snapshot of CPU and memory performance. And here's what we found. As you can see, the ASRock X870 Nova Wi-Fi did great, especially in power delivery and sustained load and the overall system snapshot. But let us know what you think. If you want to learn more or grab your own ASRock X870 Nova Wi-Fi, click the link in the description. And while you're there, make sure to join our new gamer forum also linked down below. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and comment. I'm Ben Tibbles, and this is Newegg.